This is the second uh, lecture and uh, temporary speaker. Uh, it will cover uh, uh, types of moods and uh, when use each one uh, of these moods. Uh, transmission, starting from firing of SA node, then from the AS node to EV node, and from EV node to uh, uh, bundle of his, then to bilateral ventricle through the PKNG fiber. If we have intact SA node, intact EV node, EV conduction system, and PKNG fibers. Understanding basing modes, synchronous versus asynchronous mode. Synchronous, the pacemaker paces at fixed rate, regardless of the patient's interesting heart rhythm. Synchronous mode, which is, uh, for example, VVE, VVI, the pacemaker paces only when the patient interesting heart uh, full below the programmed lower rate, so it will providing backup pacing. In pacing mode, synchronous versus synchrony mode. And if we see the ECG of a uh, synchronous mode, we will find that this maker will emit output uh, fixed regardless of electrical activity. So here we will see there is a, a pacemaker spike with the same time or fixed time with this pacemaker spike. Uh, uh, here, this is the right one, but here come in the uh, R on C phenomena. So uh, with pacemaker, we can go for VTAC or VF. But in a synchronous mode, the pacemaker will emit output only if there is no interesting activity. Now there is interesting activity, so the pacemaker will inhibit. This is uh, its activity. North American uh, Society of Pacing and Electrophysiology has developed a code uh, so that when we are talking about what a pacer are set at. For temporary pacemaker, we use the first three letters of the code. Permanent pacers, we use five letter position. Three positions we need to know. First letter is the chamber paced. The second letter will be the chamber sensed. Third letter responds to the sensing. Most common pacing uses VOO, which is uh, uh, the ventricle is pacing with no sensing, no uh, response. Or the second uh, thing is VVI. The chamber paced is ventricle. The chamber sensed is uh, ventricle, and the response is inhibition to the sensing. So, which we mentioned before, uh, and uh, we, as we mentioned, temporary pacemaker, we have three letters. A permanent pacemaker will have five letters. And if we take the first one, first category is chamber paste, zero come for none, A, atrium, V, ventricle, D, dual, uh, atrium and ventricle. Uh, the second one is chamber paste, ch chamber sensed, which is uh, zero for none, A for atrium, V for ventricle, D dual, atrium and ventricle. Third one is response to sensing, and uh, the zero is none, uh, T is triggered, uh, I inhibition, D dual, trigger plus inhibition. And if we go for uh, a, a permanent pacemaker, there will be a, a position four, for rate modulation, zero, there is no, R is rate modulation. V, uh, five uh, position is multi-slice pacing, which O for none, A atrium, V ventricle, D is dual, A plus uh, uh, ventricle, atrium plus ventricle. And our concern is the uh, in temporary pacemaker, which is uh, our topic, uh, this lecture, is uh, the first three position. Another important thing regarding uh, the pacemaker is ch single chamber or double chamber. If we go for single chamber, uh, let's mean this is atrium single chamber pacemaker. Uh, if we see uh, the wire, the wire here placed in the atrium, and uh, on ECG we can uh, translate that that there is a spike, which indicates that this pacemaker is working. This is spike fires into the atrium. So if there is no wave, no P wave is sensed, the basing spike will be fo followed by P wave. And we should know that single chamber atrial basing is contraindicated if we have EV disconnection, because uh, if we have EV uh, uh, conduction block, 
so it will contract in the atrium and no transmission to the ventricle so atrial pacing will not work in the presence of atrial fibrillation also especially if it's a chronic condition single chamber is a presence of the lead in the ventricle and this is ventricular single chamber uh, it's a ventricular uh, a pacemaker and looks for QRS complex that, that and fires into the ventricle. If no QRS complex senses, the pacing will uh, followed by the spike will fall by white white QRS complex. And this is the second single chamber pacemaker. The, the, the third type is the chamber pacemaker, which uh, look for um, the, there is one one lead in the ventricle and the other in the lead that looks for p wave if there is no p wave since it uh, the pacemaker will deliver stimulus into the atrium and the spike the basing spike followed by p wave and after programming pr uh, electronic pr interval or what's called ev interval if there is no qrs complex the second stimulus delivered to the ventricle and the basing spike followed by qrs complex so here will be the other chamber, one pacing in the uh, before P wave and the other pacing before QRS complex. Simple chamber, uh, single chamber, uh, VOO mode. If we take what we uh, learned before, so the V is in first position. It is the chamber paced, zero the chamber sensing. There is no sensing, no response. So this is mode is a ventricular pacing without sensing. So it will result in a, a, a synchronous pacing at a programmed rate. And here, uh, electrical impulse delivered to the ventricle. There is no sensing of intrinsic electrical activity. So it will pace regarding the intrinsic electrical activity. Sometimes R will be R on T, and the DVTEC will have him. Smaker syndrome will occur. The OO mode, uh, here we will find regular uh, space between the basing wires. So uh, here there is a uh, uh, basing, and the, the 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 there is a response uh, for, to the vent to to the from the ventricle. Uh, here it's come in uh, in in, a, in after intrinsic uh, activity. Uh, uh, so it will be a fixed rate for the pacemaker. No relation between the intrinsic uh, electrical activity of the heart. Chamber VVI mode. VVI involving ventricle pacing and ventricular sensing. If an intrinsic QRS is uh, sensed, the ventricle pacing will inhibit it. So, ventricular pacing, the pacemaker deliver electrical impulse into the ventricle, and uh, sensing the pacemaker detect ventricle intrinsic activity. So, there is inhibition. If there is inhibition, when there is electrical activity, so it will inhibit and there is no contractility will happen. Ventricle pacing and sensing. So if we have uh, intrinsic activity in the heart, so there is no uh, uh, um, no spikes or uh, no output from the vent from the pacemaker. Uh, no intrinsic activity. So uh, QRS complex not sensed. So there will be a, a spike and the response for from the ventricle. Uh, so if we have intrinsic activity, the ventricle pacing is inhibited. No intrinsic act activity, so the, the pacemaker will start to give. Common variables for a uh, pacing uh, single chamber, uh, the heart rate from 60 to 80, uh, the output uh, uh, energy from 0 to 20 um, milliampere, the sensitivity from 2 to 20 uh, millivolt, Set the social sensing the intrinsic activity. Chamber pacemaking DD, DD, basing and sensing electrodes are, pl are placed in the atrium and ventricle. It can maintain EV synchrony and atrial sensing trigger ventricular pacing. It's a tracking. Atrial pacing can also trigger ventricular pacing. Uh, it can achieve a Q, not a QRS complex natural uh, QRS depolarization. If there is a sinus node dysfunction, so it will paste and the ventricle will sense. 
This is the most physiological type of pacemaker. So we can avoid pacemaker syndrome and it, it maintain good hemodynamics. The pacemaker is, uh, can be worked like we can it, atrium sensing. So it will trigger ventricular pacing is a tracking. So if there's entrancing atrial beat, so it will trigger vent ventricular pacing. If there is no atrial beat, so atrial will paste and it will trigger also a ventricular pacing. Mention how it's work. If the if a pacemaker can sense P wave from the atrium, so it will send electrical uh, stimulus to the atrium. If the stimulus uh, uh, is the stimulus of the atrium, we receive pacemaker spike. It will be followed by P wave, and the pacemaker is programmed to wait uh, uh, to simulate simulate electronic PR interval. In basic terminology, the the artificial PR interval called AV interval. If the dual chamber uh, pacemaker sense Q or S complex, it's inhibited from firing electrical impulse. If there is no, so it will fire QRS complex. So what the variables is atrial tracking to track the presence of uh, stimulus in the atrium and the upper uh, rate limit and post ventricular uh, atrial refractory period and uh, EV interval or what's called uh, PR interval. By electronic electronic PR interval, uh, it's in a terminology in the pacemaker. The atrial refractory period. Uh, it's very important to prevent uh, retrograde P wave from being sensed. So the purpose of this uh, B BV uh, ERP to uh, avoid sensing P wave, and the timing is adjustable parameters. Examples of uh, ECG for DD, um, DD mode. First, the atrial sense and V uh, ventricular sense. So, this interesting activity, no need for the base, base amplifier. Uh, in the second ECG, uh, the atrial uh, cannot be sensed. There is no atrial activity. So, atrial will be uh, a pace. It will be followed by P wave. Then, uh, after that, the ventricle is sensed, so the, the QRS complex is an interesting from the heart itself. So the V is sensed. This is G. The B wave is from interesting heart, so uh, it will be A sense. V paste that means uh, the, the QRS complex followed by a spike. So it's called atrial tracking uh, in the dual mode. For this uh, mode, the atrial is paced. There is uh, no uh, sense, no activity in the atrium, and no activity in the ventricle. And the ventricle is paced also. This is the references for this lecture. And thanks uh, for uh, listening for the lecture. And you can put the questions and the comment in the down in the comments.